Hi I'm James and in today's video I'm taking a look at replacing the screen on a Samsung Galaxy J5 2015. Uh, this has been dropped and the screen broken and so first of all what I'm going to do is remove the back cover and the battery to make sure the phone is completely off and then I am going to just Grab my little pry tool here and use the tip to pop off this little cover and this is the display connector and then use that and this is what the display and touch panel are connected to the phone via and then so with that separated I'm now going to turn the phone back over and I'm going to take my wheat bag and I've heated this in the microwave for a couple minutes about two and a half minutes and I'm just going to leave that on there to uh, heat the adhesive for a minute to hopefully loosen it enough to begin removing the screen because these screens are stuck into the chassis of the phone. So I'm just going to jump cut to that and hopefully we can do this without having to resort to using a heat gun. Now with that left on there for a couple of minutes just to warm the phone, what we are now going to do is we are going to take our pry tool and we are going to between the plastic frame and the glass just try and gently start to lift that now unfortunately this glass is fairly cracked so it is possible that we will get some sort of splintering and breakage as we do this which is a bit of a pain and we may need to switch to using sort of a sort of credit card or something similar to get in under it but there we go we have got in the pry tool and now what we want to do is work our way around I'm just going to grab a guitar pick now because all of this is already broken anyway it's not the end of the world if we sort of splinter or crack anything um, but it's obviously tidier if we don't So what we're going to do here, where we've managed to get it lifted slightly, is if we slot in a guitar pick, I'm actually going to push that in so it's between the glass and the screen. Uh, like I say, the screen itself is actually broken on this, so I'm really not worried what happens to it. And then I'm just going to keep working my way around. Now we are going to need that little button there. Um, but that will basically free itself up as we lift the screen and then we will position that again once we're done with the new screen now up this side more picks in here just to keep basically these are just being used to stop glue resetting and having gone round like so now on the final stretch and we should now be able to hopefully just peel off the screen as of oh, the digitizer there as a single piece this is now attached to the screen and we can see the screen here is really quite broken so we're going to have to basically just break the screen so because we have this ribbon cable just for convenience I'm going to cut that out there are p companies which will sell you the glass front on its own and it looks tempting if it's only that glass that is broken to order that in and you can fix this much cheaper don't be fooled um, you're not going to separate the the digitizer from the screen without breaking the screen so really those are just going to be a waste of money um, which is unfortunate the screen for this was quite expensive relative to the actual value of the phone um, unfortunately the customer needed data and software on the phone and to be able to continue using it and it wasn't going to be easy to just replace the phone which is why we're in this situation of having to 
tear out the LCD panel and this is horrible. If I'd thought ahead, I would have actually uh, put, in fact, it's even still worth doing it because this is making a mess. So because we are just, this is splintering to such a degree, I'm gonna put duct tape over the top of the screen just to catch what is coming out from the front because this is gonna make a real mess over my desk. And then we will keep and there we go, that's actually a much better way of doing it. Do that from the start, put some duct tape over that to pull the screen out. Now with that's done, all we've got to do now, we can see that connector that we already removed has pulled through. So we are going to go through and clean up all of this. The cables here, that presses down, that folds through like so, through that gap to reconnect. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up this frame, make sure all these shards and that are picked up, and then we'll cut back to final assembly. Okay, so now what is left to do, having cleaned up, um, I've just gone around and scraped some of the residual adhesive off. So first of all we want to reposition the home button. We can make some adjustments to that once the screen is in place. Now, I ordered this screen from Replace Space. I've already tested it um, before removing the chassis and all seems to be working nicely with it. So first of all, we need to peel off that backing and then we want to remove the adhesive, which is going to set the screen into the frame or the digitizer I should say into the frame. Now what we want to do now is fit this by slotting that connector through there and then aligning the screen in the top going to try and get the button as close as possible. What I'm going to do actually is peel this front cover off just to make it so that we can align the button while we are putting it into place. And with that in there we just need now to Press the adhesive into place, which this does mean we're getting our nice new front a bit fingerprinty. That button appears to be working okay. Now we simply need to reconnect the screen connector by just folding it down. thumbs today apparently. There we go. Replace the battery and now we have our J5 with screen replaced. I hope you found this video useful. Um, I did see a few guides online, uh, but I thought I could do something a bit better. Um, and also, it really isn't necessary to use the heat gun. You can heat this up enough to get the old screen off uh, just using a wheat bag like that rather than a full-on heat gun. Thanks for watching.